the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Lord, we come today to celebrate the memorial of St. Patrick, the bishop who is best known for his work in evangelizing the people of the country of Ireland. Today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Patrick, and as we continue on an Arlington journey, we are reminded of the call not only to bring ourselves to our loving Father, but to help bring others to Christ as well. And so as we come to unite ourselves to the love that God has for us, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In the time of favor I answer you, on the day of salvation I help you, and I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Siam. Sing not, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, ye mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own Father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, 
The Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he, do what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he, he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we come in our Lenten journey to celebrate the memorial of St. Patrick, the bishop known for his work in evangelizing and bringing the gospel message to the people of Ireland, we are invited in our scripture reading today to focus on the mystery of the Holy Trinity and how fitting it is on this memorial of St. Patrick. I'm sure all of us at one point or another are familiar and have heard the the, the stories associated with St. Patrick, how he taught the people of Ireland about the Holy Trinity using the example of a shamrock, the three leaves of the one shamrock representing the three persons in the one God. And yet there is much more to St. Patrick than the story of the shamrock. There is much more to God than just our understanding of him as well. We are called to a deeper understanding of God, knowing that at the end of the day, perhaps we will never truly understand the depths of the mystery of God. And yet the invitation is there, there for us to seek, to explore, to search for the meaning of our relationship with God, whose fundamental meaning for us is, of course, love and mercy. We are reminded in our first reading today that God will never forget us, that God will always be with us. This is what we have celebrated. This is what we have embraced during the season of Lent when we have embraced this call to repentance, to journey back to the Lord. Because we recognize that the Lord is constantly searching and seeking us out. In His great love and His great mercy, He continues to yearn for that renewal of that covenant that He renewed with us. And He loved us so much that as we hear in our Gospel reading today, that he sent us his son and gave him power to be in that relationship with us. God the Father loved us that he gave us God the Son. The love between the Father and the Son is so great, so powerful that it is that essence of love itself, the Holy Spirit. And that beautiful intertwining, that beautiful interrelationship of the Trinity is what we are invited to enter into each and every day. The love of God, the love that God has for all of us, the love that is celebrated each time that we come to the celebration of the Eucharist and we immerse ourselves time and time again into the Paschal celebration, of the passion, death, and resurrection of the Lord, that mystery that we are journeying towards at the end of our Lenten journey. So the invitation for us on this beautiful memorial of St. Patrick is that invitation to once again focus on that mystery of the Trinity, to focus on the meaning 
of God's love for us and to recognize how the Lord continues to call us to be united with Him. St. Patrick embraced that mission, embraced that goodness, and brought it to the people of Ireland. We too are called to embrace that message for ourselves. And then we will be invited and we will be challenged then to bring that good news to others, to be that example, to be that missionary, to be that apostle of Christ, that apostle of love, bringing the love of God to one another. As we come to this table of the Lord, let us be nourished by the food that the Lord gives to us, so as to enter once again into the covenant with the Holy Trinity, to once again enter into relationship with our loving God, and so immerse ourselves into that beautiful relationship with Him once again. So trusting in our loving God, we bring to Him our prayers and our petitions. So we pray for our church. May we embrace every opportunity to journey deeper into the love that God has for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for our nation, that we, as its faithful citizens, may embrace every opportunity to share the love of God with one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who feel overwhelmed, who feel burdened, who feel lost during these times. May they find hope, may they find comfort, may they find consolation in God, in family, and in friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all missionaries throughout the world. May they embrace the vocation given to them to share and proclaim the good news of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are sick, all those who are recovering from or struggling with any illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they enter into the fullness of God's eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass today for the repose of the soul of Barbara Ann Rizzo and the repose of the soul of Patrick Kinnear, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The quiet of our hearts is spoken aloud wherever we are. We bring to our God our own prayers and petitions. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bringing our prayers into one, we bring before our loving God our intercessions, bringing them through the intercession of St. Joseph as we pray. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only son. In you Mary placed her trust with you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth from our human hands have become for us bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands have become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of this holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Patrick, whom we honor today, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will ever reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to grow deeper in love of our God. Thanks be to God.